What's up, guys? This is Steve here for day eight of the 48, 46 day challenge. As you see, I am finally back in my college dorm and not at my house where all my posters are everywhere. <laughs> um, today, I'm going to be doing teams for, for my favorite team four member, my favorite team N3 member, and my favorite STU slash S4, how I would have say that they are um and quick note i decided that i would add uh one of the days for the king q say so after not tomorrow but the day after i'm deciding that i'm going to do my favorite king q says per group if that makes any sense um now to start off um my favorite team four member is okat anana Ever since I was back in the day, not last summer, but the time before that, when I was um, marathoning AK Bingo, Nachan stood out to me so well because I felt like I could relate to her more or less because I felt that we were both Majime characters, is how I would put it. Because it, it, I am kind of a serious person and I sometimes don't understand that people are joking around sometimes but I, I do take things serious um, and then just seeing Nachan grow throughout the years even through AK Bingo how she finally re uh, showed that she had like a perverted side <laughs> which was absolutely hilarious and now just seeing Nachan being this amazing senpai figure to a lot of the members and, I, and of course having that massive harem that she has with all those members, it's just great to see that Nachan's doing well. And especially since, you know, even though the newest single wasn't the best AKB single by far, I'm just so happy to see that she at least is now becoming the ace slash face of AKB currently. Um, and then for an honorable mention, I will, I will, I'll say an honorable mention here would be Ma Chia Ling. Ma Chia Ling is absolutely adorable and hilarious. And yeah, if it wasn't for Nachan, um, Ma Chia Ling would be my favorite Team 4 member. And just seeing the struggles that Ma Chia Ling went through, too, it's just amazing how she is one of these Taiwanese, um, what do they call, not Kennings, but research students? I'm not even Ken Kyusei. I don't. I forgot what the. I forgot what it was called. But anyways, anyways. Um. Now for my favorite team, N three member when it comes to NGT. It has to be, Ogi. Ogi is. Too too. Ogi's too funny. <laughs> I mean, NGT in general is just kind of like out there compared to like the rest of the groups and quirkiness because NGT is really really weird if you think about it because you have Ogi, you have um, Yamada Noe, you have Mahoho and, and just, just, just the rest, NGT in general is just weird and funny but Nogi, I'm not Nogi, <laughs> Ogi uh, tops everyone because I remember when she shocked me when she won first in prelims because I was not expecting any NGT member and yet alone I didn't even know who she was. But then actually seeing the reason why for her showrooms, because I remember when I first saw her showrooms, I and I still to this day I think that that girl is somehow on some sort of drugs because there's no there's no way you can be like that hyper like she is doing the most random stuff possible and it's hilarious because it fits Ogi so well and just seeing how she had that Cinderella story of how she was kept on trying to get an AKB but she kept on failing but then she eventually made it to NGT and was able to even make rank number five in the Sosenkyo last year it's just an amazing Cinderella story and then when it comes to my favorite STU member slash what I would call S4 because that's what they're going to be. Um, Yana Honoka is my favorite. I 
from the day that the STU edition started, uh, I was paying attention to her. She was responding to my uh, replies, my English replies, made me happy seeing how it was interesting to see how she was such a big Carps fan. <laughs> then again, I hear that the whole area of like Satuji is, well, not the whole area of Satuji, but a lot of people in that area are car crazy Carps fan, baseball fans, and just happen to beat the Carps there for Hiroshima. Um, other than that, there's not really much to say about Yano. It, although in uh, Seto Bingo, it was interesting that see to see that she could crack. Um, I believe it was walnuts with her butt. That was that was pretty <laughs> impressive and surprising to see. And the fact that she even made newspapers because of that that was that's just great. Um, yeah, so that's it for today's video for day eight of the forty eight forty six day challenge. Tomorrow's is going to be my favorite. Uh, what is it? My favorite Kayaki member, no, teammate member, my favorite teammate member, my favorite Kanji Kayaki member, my favorite Hiragana and Hiragana Kayaki member. So I'll be doing those three teammate Kanji and Hiragana tomorrow. And then the next day after that, I'll be doing the Kenkyusei's. That's what I plan. So, um, so if you guys want to follow along, you know, comment, subscribe to the channel, I would much uh, appreciate it as we're still small. And I would just want to know what you guys think in general, who your favorite team members are, and just going along with the challenge. And um, until next tomorrow, guys, with that video, see ya.